Greetings all my loyal subs and subs to be, I am Master Dominic, and it is my absolute pleasure to welcome you back to Skylander Spiral's Adventure Part 10. Due to some technical difficulties, you missed something. There is a winged sapphire here, under this little stone right here where Tree Dude over here, Arbo, was hiding. If you hit it, well, if you hit it now, a gem will pop out, but the first time you hit it, a winged sapphire will pop out, so yay. There's another one for the collection. <clears throat> now, as for dealing with Arbo, we will do that in just a moment, right after collecting all the money from the little elemental totem. Oh, and I should also mention, I got Trigger Snappy! The little miniature version of Trigger Happy. I have no idea what he's supposed to do, but I can have him running around on screen being a spaz while I play, so I like that. Magic Spyro. Yeah. Next, we need fire. Bam. Oh, I really need to remember what the controls are. I did not mean to do big old fire blast like that. Oh, my bad. Got those two mixed up. Good blast. Finally, wham show for the win. Money, money! Ooh, a lot of money. Probably getting him an upgrade now. Let's go check in with Persephone the Fairy! Starfish... Starfishificus Super... What? Okay, whatever. Super Starfish Blast. Oh, cool, I can charge it. Alright, let's go talk to Arbor. The Arbo. forest is in danger. We should go quickly. Are you ready to go quickly now? Yep, let's go, Arbo. Follow me. And if you look down, you can see everything. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Like, we fall from this height, but we die. It feels good to be in the tree of life. I can... Tell these things. But what happened to the life seeds? Sorry about that. They My control is being buggy. Great trees. Trying to fix it. Okay, I had to unplug my headphones in order to plug in the charger for my controller. So if there's any background noise that sounds like the game over my own recording, that's why. I only have my headphones on and my TV muted so that way there isn't any feedback from the TV on my personal audio. But I guess we'll see what happens. Horn Hornet. Poison Stingers that stun. He also appears to be a bitch because I just took him out in one swing. I love having little trigger snappies just dancing around down there. Or a wind. Okay, which way are we going? All the loot! Uh... Oh, I was supposed to hit that switch, wasn't I? Trigger Snappy, why didn't you tell me to hit the switch? Blade Witch. Like a boomerang, blade returns to sender. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, and she has one of those shields that blocks attacks. I had to attack her when she's attacking. Great. Yeah, I think that's... 
Uh, I've been watching a lot of Pokemon videos lately, so I feel I feel like I'm saying Spiro. Boing. Ah, oh, crap! I got stunned. Ah, dang it! They hit they hit harder than I remember. Then again, I may just be a lower level. I only have my Skylanders leveled up a lot, but I also play preferential. I don't normally randomize them like I do for my playthroughs. Oh, all the loot. And little trigger snappy down there being all random as hell. Seriously, what what do the mini Skylanders do anyway? No. All that cheese. Life spell punk. Spells here. Oh crap, I hate these guys. They get made much worse in the later games. Like, in this game, you could wail on the enemies enough, and you could... Oh, crap. There's a bounce pad there. You could wail on the enemies enough, and it could... You could still beat them, even if there's a life spell punk nearby. In the later games, life spell punks get made so OP. You could wail on an enemy for hours and not defeat them, just because a life spell punk would be nearby being like, undo all damage! And I just found a bunny with antlers. The legendary treasure, the sterling taper. And again, bonus 500 gold, sweet. And a teleport. You bring me right back here, even though I would take no damage if I fell. Skylanders of the life element are stronger in this zone. Death all the things. I barely got any loot for that. What the hell? Oh, because there's a chest right over here. Let's see. Not bad. Let's see, if I remember right, if you had a uh, Skylander that oh, I forgot to switch again. If you had a Skylander that had projectile attacks, you could actually shoot the barrels as you ran up. But Stealth Elf does not. Not that it matters anyway, they give you plenty of time to get up the stupid ramp. Aha. Decoy. And stupid spear drill. Okay. It is so difficult going from one Skylanders game to another because they change the controls literally between every single game. Like lately I've been playing the fifth one a lot, uh, Skylanders Superchargers, and the controls in that are so very different, especially since they have vehicles. Story scroll. A note from Professor P. Grungale says, despite- oh, Hold on, Eon, I got an achievement. For 40G, archaeologists collect 10 story scrolls. Claims that the Dro invented balloons, it was actually a chompy who came up with the idea. Drinking 200 flasks of fizzy juice, a chompy inflated to 20 times its size and floated away, burping like mad. <laughs> oh my god, that, that is so awesome. Big old balloon chompy. Actually, that'd be a pretty cool enemy in one of the future Skyliner games. They actually think of that balloon chompy. They like suck in a bunch of air to fly above you and attack. And another treasure chest. Man, I'm gonna be able to get a lot of upgrades from Skylanders at the end of this one. Not. Nice. You know, you think you think Stealth Elf would be like a vegetarian or something? Not if you doesn't eat that old chicken leg. Turkey leg. What do you think it'd actually be? Would that be a chicken leg or a turkey leg? Blitzer bully. Travels with made for health benefits. Ah, crap. He's the one that travels around with a life spell pump on his back. I can just keep on wailing on him until they die. I managed to kill the stupid spell pump. Oh, both. Both works. Let's see. 
Doesn't look like there are any secrets. A lot of treasure, though. Run across the boards. Up and through the puzzle. Oh my god. Eight light spell punch. Oh, switch. Rainbow Death! You need a magic Skylander to unlock this one. Death by Rainbow. You know, you'd think by now they would make like a leprechaun character just to have like some sort of rainbow beam attack. <laughs> You're like a friggin' rainbow version of Kame Mea Wave. Okay. Looks like everything here. You need so a magic, magic skylander to unlock this gate. You need a magic skylander to unlock this gate. They always come up with better animations for the gates in the different games. The magic element are Ooh, stronger yes. in this zone. Oh cool, Gilgrunt. The anchor cannon. No breach. Let's see. I'm gonna teleport. And he to what three the full treasure. Cool. Boing. Boing. And then a horn. And then it dies. Because they're weak as hell. And I think. Boing. 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 Then accidental point. Ah, crap. Hate that. Why did they even put that platform there? There's literally nothing there. Oh, I see. You gotta bounce up to this one, and then over to this one because of how it's angled. And then. Oh no, you aren't getting away. Level up. Boing. 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 <laughs> okay, that one pad is getting on my nerves. Boing. <laughs> Boing. Boing. There we go. And boing. And. Okay, okay, hold on. Gotta be patient. Dude, just right. And up. And then fireball to die. And then the horn. Present. It is a pair of antlers. Moose hat. No. No hats for my Skylanders. No. All the hats in this level form. <laughs> Darn hornet. Boing. And Blade Witch. Yeah, they really pack they really pack a lot of enemies in some of these levels. And they do it even worse in the later the games, but they they did a pretty good job of spinning as many enemies as they could in, in even the early games. And they also did a good job of making them worth a crap ton of XP. If you decided to be that person that collected every single Skylander. And there's a crap ton of XP down there. And I'm already this far up, and no point in me running down there to get it. Die Hornet! And Blade Jeez, he brought the shield already and died. Gotcha. Ugh. I hate when they go falling over the edge and then you lose all that XP. Especially when it's like a super powerful enemy. You spend like so long just chipping away at them. Oh, come on. Come on. Yeah. Uh, and the blade still hits me. Okay, this is back where I was. Alright, so this is full. And that is a bouncy plank thing. Boing! <laughs> oh, this part's fun. So knock the ball down. And boom, 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 boom. boom. Three XP! Three level. I was watching another playthrough from another game channel I really like. I think it's uh, 
TFS plays, Team 4 Star plays, and they were talking about how whenever they do that kind of crapping game, they need to have an achievement in at least one game called Strike, where when you knock the ball down, you manage to hit all the enemies, you get, you know, something for it. So that would be awesome. Mm. Elevators always take so long. And there's spikes. And wait, and wait, and wait, and run, and cake. And run. Ooh, made it. And then enemies out of nowhere. They literally do not load until you run through that gate. How often do this level run? Ah, oh, crap. I can't get the timer right. Oh, got it. And now these. Let the shield and die. Okay. And. Oh, right. You gotta go under this bridge. It's very confusing in a game where normally you can't go under the bridge, they would make it specifically that you have to go under that bridge and then forward and then horn slam. Alright. And then another treasure chest. You know, you never realize how long these levels actually take until you go back and look at how long it actually takes you to beat them. Like, I know I can beat some of these levels in, like, five minutes, and then I go back and look at my recordings, and it's, like, 20 minutes, and I'm like, my god. But that's because I try to make this kind of like a walkthrough kind of thing, and get everything I can. Kill everything. Rope. Okay. Oh. Okay. One shot and he just died. Cool. Laser light puzzle. Uh, wait a minute. I know this. This one. Forward. Or to the right, I guess. And then forward. And it's shooting into the rotating crystal. Turn that one so it hits the beam and. Open. Sweet. And three cake. Also sweet. Good job. A lot of enemies here. And then stealth out. Cut them all to pieces. Stealth out's gonna cut it. And there's all the cute dogs going crazy because there's a school bus outside. Level burst! I love how they didn't take out the mechanic that it does like a big old burst of energy whenever you level up. Like that's in like every game, and it was always so awesome to be fighting like a really strong enemy. Just take out a few underlings, level up, and then take out the super strong one. And then possibly possibly level up again, just because you happen to be low level when you took them out. And then another one. Guys, 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 guys. Yeah, level up again. Just burning through those levels. And there's all this cash over here. All the cash. No, I saw a life punk over here. You aren't getting away. I'm not just gonna end this level. You're gonna die. And life becomes death. And then I move on. <laughs> You've done it! Great legend of Skyland come to life! <laughs> you have found life's seeds and nature rejoices! We shall spread their happiness to the core of light and watch them grow! And everything but clear time again. Yay! It is hard as balls to get clear time when you're going to get everything. 
especially when you kind of suck at this game when you haven't played in forever. Which is how I currently am. Shoo, 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 land creature. Have you no respect for the sacred life, thieves? See, I've been saying those sheep are evil. Evil, I tell you. These seeds we brought back have grown into these wonderful apple bushes. Shoo! But these sheep are eating all the apples. Could you please keep the sheep away long enough for the apples to grow? Then the roots will be strong enough to speak to me. This is something I never thought about before. He said apple bushes. Apple bushes. Apples grow on trees. I, I never realized this before, that this, there was such a friggin' flaw in the logic of this game right there. Get back, you stupid cheat! Oh, I got it. Friggin' I actually kind of agree with Hugo that cheap are evil during this particular level, just because it is so annoying to get these sh stupid sheep to keep away from the goddamn apples. Back away! I hate you, sheep! Uh, I need one more. <laughs> Blended! The eternal life source is hidden inside a giant acorn within the tree of life. I know where to find it because the seeds tell me things. Whoa, I feel strange now. The forest is in danger. We should go quickly. Are you ready to go quickly now? Uh, no. I understand your decision, great legend of Skylands come to life. I suppose we can hold on for a little while. As much fun as it would go... I can't word right now. <laughs> as much fun as it would be to go and kick the ass of some trolls with chainsaws, this is where I'm going to end this video. So, thank you all so much for watching. I had an awesome time and I hope you did too. If you liked this video, please subscribe, and I hope to see every last one of you in the next video. Goodbye!